My name is Carlos Galdino. I am currently a senior at Hoover High School. I am a person who likes to be outside, so I spend 90% of my time outside studying, reading, eating, laying down to see the sunset at TikTok grow. But I excel in many things at school, and math isn't one, but photography, I think, might be it. So I chose a few images to show some important aspects of my life. Mellow Mushroom. In this first picture, I photographed the Mellow Mushroom. This is a tiny house inside my fish's bowl. My fish's name is Citrus. I got that little fellow and I was very, very, very upset. Ever since I got him, he's cheered me up a whole lot. He swims to the surface immediately when he sees anything on top of his bowl. I think animals are fun, and they're very good companions. I would have photographed my cats, but they're very crazy and antisocial. For this picture, I wanted to go for a very foggy looking underwater mushroom, kind of like whimsical that you would see in like the Smurfs. I edited the image by lowering the light and the color. The saturation is 0.43 and a freeform crop. I was very pleased with how this picture turned out exactly what I wanted to portray, you know, especially since it's in a plastic bowl filled with foggy fish water, so it was kind of hard, but I got the camera to focus on certain times when I wanted it to. Hem. The name of this angel is Hem. I have these little angels or cherubs in my room that resemble that heavenly vibe. I love statues and figures that have such an amazing detail. Over the summer, I found this one at thrift store. I put it on top of my vinyl by the incense tray, and the candle that shines with the low light reflecting off a little angel is incredible. The reason I'm very drawn to the cherubs is because religion is such an interesting topic to me, and heavenly characters and figures are an aesthetic that I'm very attracted to because of how pure and beautiful they are. I edited this picture by exposing the contrast and reducing the light. Focusing on the angel on the left bottom with a dark background, I was very pleased with this picture just because of how the low light contrasted with the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sketch. I named this picture Remnants. This picture is one of my favorite places on the whole planet. This is a really beautiful coffee shop named Rembrandt's. It has a very strong urban Italian little shop as a plaza vibe. Considering on how the outside of the building looks, it's decorated with tremendous amounts of rich green plants hanging over the entrance. The beautiful vines give the place a whimsical feeling. Also, there's an odd statue that stands out on the balcony capturing anyone's eye who passes by it. This place fills me with harmless feeling because I really enjoy the food, studying there in the afternoon during fall, and it's always good to go somewhere I can concentrate and just enjoy the beauty of it. I edited this picture by exposing the high, higher light and increasing the brightness with the color to bring out the rich green plants. The gray statue really stands out in the middle posing and shining as the sun reflects over it. Tapestry. In this picture, I'm showing my favorite tapestry. I love this way the tapestry is in my room, covering the empty wall. I got this tapestry because I've always had a thing for decorating my room in a very interesting way. The reason this connects with me is because I love patterns that are very trippy and play a trick on the human eye. I used to draw very cool patterns exactly like this and place them around my room on the walls. So when I saw this tapestry, I fell in love with it. For this, I lowered the color and gave it a black and white exposure, creating a low light that captured all of the light and dark colors that contrasted. I was very pleased with this picture and it really stands out to me. I named this picture Little Shine. This picture is my favorite piece of art that I've photographed. I really appreciate art, and this piece looks out into the Tennessee River by the Tennessee Museum of Art. I like the way the light reflects off the metal. I always photograph this detailed metal piece when I go, and I really, really enjoy just looking at it and seeing how, how it stands out in the river. I increase the color to bring out the landscape in the background, such as the trees and the river. Um, and I really enjoy it. This picture and where it is, it just shows how much art is everywhere and it fits beautifully outside. And I was very content with this picture just because it draws a lot of people and it's very present.